but why are you insecure? Because like for, just from the outside, like, yes, you face setbacks, but you and Tom built Quest into a billion dollar company. So you're wealthy. Impact Theory has millions of followers. So you're famous. Your network is filled with some of the most successful and smartest people in the world. So theoretically, you can ring anyone up and get help at any time. And so most people would think from the outside, like, I don't know if this allows you to like buy confidence, but you could just use money to solve all your problems. So like, why the hell are you so insecure? That's so interesting. So I think of insecurity as being about a feeling that you have about yourself. So there's no amount of money that can ever make me feel good about myself if I don't believe it. There's no amount of money. You, I can pay people to tell me how amazing I am, but as soon as they go away, when I'm lying there at night by myself and my eyes are closed and it's just me and my thoughts, what does that thought say to me? You can't buy that shit. You can't buy a positive mindset. And so that's what is my North Star, that it's my mindset. It was how I felt about myself that held me back for eight years. It was how I felt about myself, my insecurities that caused me to be stuck, that caused me to have a life that didn't fill me up. And so now I pride myself on what is the mindset I have and how do I get better every day? And so when it comes to writing a book, in all those accolades that you very, um, very uh, generously, generously gave me, in none of that did it say, I know how to write a book. So why the hell am I going to have this blind confidence in saying, well, of course you can write a book, Lisa. No, no, I'm just brutally honest with myself. And in that moment, I was like, well, Lisa, why the hell would you have fake confidence in knowing how to write a book if you've never written a book before? It's a skill set. And so I went in there going, okay, it's a skill set. Lisa, you may not know how to write a book, but do you believe it's going to align with your mission of impact? Never, ever dreamt of being an author. That was never on my bucket list. Winning an Academy Award and being a movie director was on my list, but it was never to write a book. And so when the offer came to me immediately, I was like, oh, that's nice. And Tom turns and he's like, babe, like, what do you mean that's nice? Like, don't you want to actually consider this? And I'm like sitting at my laptop and I'm just working. I'm like, no, oh, babe, that's actually very sweet. That's thank you. That's nice for the offer. And he's like, what the hell is wrong with you? He's like, do you realize a big time literary agent just offered you a book deal? And the very first words out of my mouth were, well, who would buy a book from me? Now, this is yeah. a year and a half ago. This is after I built a billion dollar company. This is after Impact Theory has over half a billion views on our content alone. And so in that moment, I was like, oh, the insecure Lisa is still there. So that was where I started from. Instead of convincing myself I know how to write a book, which is false confidence, which I actually don't encourage, I just go, oh, you don't know how to write a book, but do you want to? So that was the key. Like, does this make sense with what you want to do in life? So I just processed. I've got this book offer. Does it align with my mission? The answer was yes. Okay, great. Now you don't know how to write a book. So what are you going to do in order to write a book? And so initially I go to what are all the traps I'm about to fall into? Because I can write a bad book. Anyone can write a bad book, but how is that actually going I don't know, to? Writing a, I, most people won't even take the effort to write a bad book. I, what, what's that? Um, I don't know if it's Malcolm Gladwell or Seth Godin, but people used to come up to one of these guys and say like, like, oh, you know, like I'm just... I'm working on a book and then be like, Oh really? Like show me your, you know, yeah. What about your writing? And it's like, Oh, it's not good. He's like, great. Show me your bad writing. And yeah. they never take the time to write bad. Even. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, look, I just kind of said, stepped back and as I said, okay, everything stems from a goal. So here's the offer. I'm not actually even asking myself if I can write a book yet or not. I'm just saying, does this align with what I'm trying to do in life? And the idea is global impact. And so writing a book, yes, 1000%. So many books have actually changed my life that the power of a book is it can be incredible. So, okay. Does it make sense with my mission? Yes. Great. Now, what are all the things in writing a book that can be either great or not great? And detrimental. Like, why am I going to spend the time in learning how to write a book? And so I just said, okay, right now, Lisa, we all know you can actually write a bad book. If I gave myself the time, I know that I can write a bad book, but does that serve me? No. Okay, great. How do I write a good book? And how do I write a book that I can be proud of? Mm -hmm. So this is where we started from with identity and validation. So in writing this book, I wrote a chapter called validation is for parking. And it was the fact that I need to make sure 
because for so many, and I'm sure a lot of people in your audience can relate to this, well, we do seek validation from other people. We seek those pats on the back. So I said, if I was to write a book, how do I make sure that the book itself, whether it does well or not, it doesn't affect my self-esteem? Mm. Because that's the important part. Because now I've decided I know why I'm doing it. So I've aligned it with my mission. But now in writing it, how do I make sure that I don't get trapped in all these things that I'm talking about? Because if I go in going, of course, I know how to write a book. I'm going to be amazing. And then it tanks. What does that do to me? What does that do to my mindset? What does that do to how I feel about myself? It's going to be detrimental. So I said, yeah. okay, Lisa, you're going to go in and you're going to pride. You're going to give yourself the pat on the back for writing the book in the first place. And now you're going to put in markers in as you write the book on how you're going to build your own validation so that once you launch the book, whether it does well or tank, you can be proud of yourself. And so this whole writing of the book and talking about radical confidence became this inception because the book, the whole point of the book is actually about not feeling good about yourself, not knowing how to do something, but creating a game plan that allows you to do it anyway. That's radical confidence. You've got to hear the full conversation I had with Lisa Bill. You click on the link right over there to listen to the full talk.